They say that you cannot capture sunlight in a box, and yet that is exactly what has been done in the most unlikely of locations in a small country of South Asia. For those of you who know of Bangladesh only as prone to natural disasters and flooding, here is a story of a development sector at the grassroots level that might give you a different idea of this promising country. Approximately 200 kilometers from Dhaka, Bangladesh, lies a group of remote islands, one of which is Charmantas. The island, which houses about 18,000 people, is more than a mere bus ride away from Dhaka. The journey to Charmantas requires crossing many rivers, like the Buri Ganga and the Meghna. Like any other remote village of the country's southern regions, the people of Charmantas rely on minimal resources. Fishing is the main source of income for most of the families. The weak infrastructure of the area creates a lack of adequate public resource allocation. A reliable source of energy and electricity is usually not common for distant locations like Charmantas, as electric grids do not reach such areas. What makes Charmantaj unlike any other villages of similar stature and resources is the everyday use of renewable energy. The transformation of Charmantaj into a model village materialized with the aid of Prokoshali Shangshad Limited, PSL. In 1999, PSL established the union Ubomas, Upokolio Bidutayon o Mohila Unnoyon Shomiti, which began with a focus on training 35 local women on assembling solar lamps and eventually moved on to various other projects to improve livelihoods. Not only were they able to enhance lighting in the households and thereby improve their children's education, but solar energy also helped their businesses to thrive. With the aim of training these women to build solar lamps, PSL created a venue for the members of Ubomas to become involved in helping to generate household income for the local people. Most of the women have not gone beyond primary school in their education and have lived just as housewives until their involvement with Ubomas. In the past, many members were living in vulnerable housing accommodations, which had to be rebuilt every time the village faced natural disasters. Because of Ubomas, however, certain families were able to upgrade their homes to more stable ones. While most of the 35 members of Ubomas and their families got out of the cycle of poverty, a handful reached heights of considerable success. <laughs> তারপর এখান থেকে ছোট করে আসতে ব্যবসা করে যখন ব্যবসা একটু বড় হলো তারপরে আমি বাজারে বাসা নিলাম ওখানে চলে গেলাম এখান থেকে Sometimes all you need is a little bit of light to start your own success story এখানে এই গড্ডা করলাম করা পরে এখানে আসলো আর কি তারপর কয়েকদিন পরে আমি নিজে আসলাম এখানে আর গ্রামে যাইনি এখন এখানে আস্তে আস্তে ব্যবসা মানে যে চলছে Another success story is Shahida who joined Ubomas just 10 years ago now she is the president and the owner of one of the two biggest stores in the bazaar. In 2001, along with Runu, she has even traveled to the United States to show the Western world how they assembled solar bulbs. Our success stories could not have been possible without initial obstacles that Ubomas members had to confront. 
তারপরে এলাকার মানুষ মাইনে নেয় নাই আমরা যে কাজটা করতে চাই কাজটাও অবৈধ এখনো বৈধ না এইটা এইভাবে করিয়া দেশটারে গুল্লাই দেবে এই সমস্ত কিছু বলতো অফিসে যাই অফিসে যাই কি অফিস মহিলা গবার অফিস থেকে হ্যাঁ all the limitations that women of charmantas face turned around once people of the society realized the contribution the women were bringing in their husbands began to accept and even welcome the new change while yubomas focuses on particularly these 35 women psl established another organization to reach a wider group of men and women The Rural Energy and Development Initiatives Ready was established in 2006 in association with PSL. Some of Ready's objectives include providing microcredit loans for fish cultivation, poultry, and livestock farming. Other goals include solar energized healthcare, energized agriculture and processing, efficient cooking devices, solar home systems for lighting, and micro enterprise for energy service with hopes for improving family well-being women's empowerment and children's education one of ready's successful missions was the solar electrification of high schools four solar powered computers were implemented by PSL in Charmontas high school age computer ar dekhini kokhono kokhono computer dekhini dekhini ta charmontas jon ai computer esheche amar mon theke In the future, due to the success at Charmontaj High School along with Rangabali High School, six more schools will receive computers powered by the sun. But there are still underprivileged people living in these areas who are being neglected. The Manta represent the poorest of the poorest who live on boats and survive solely on fishing traveling from dock to dock never staying on land Another of Reddy's objectives is to provide opportunities to these landless people There is a cultural dynamic surrounding the Manta landless people who pass generations upon generations on boats They are treated with derision by society and are refused even the rights of burying their dead on land Ready aims to train the Manta in skill development so that they can eventually claim their rightfully deserved lands. While Yubomas and Ready are doing their part to help in the advancement of Char Mantas, the vibrant and unique inhabitants of the island will continue to exceed expectations. Despite not having proper electric grid systems unlike its availability elsewhere, Improvisation and innovation in Charmantas goes a long way in providing a more promising livelihood for its people and consequently a much brighter future. Its children are simply waiting for an opportunity to catch up with the rest of the world.